Welcome back, uh, dear viewers, and you are still watching the breakfast show. And in this segment of our program, we will talk about the government efforts to combat the coronavirus pandemic. And uh, we are joined over the phone by Dr. Rami Aziz, professor and chairman of microbiology immunology research department, uh, Cairo University. Good morning. Good morning. So, uh, Dr. Rami, uh, let's start uh, by the latest researches uh, related uh, to coronavirus and what's new. Uh, well, th thank God there is nothing much that is new, but yes. <laughs> because uh, no news, good news. So, so uh, yes. I think everybody already knows that um, the virus uh, uh, is, is constantly evolving and that the, the latest version of the virus that is spreading around the world uh, is, it's, uh, has been known by the WHO as the Delta variant. It's uh, B1167. It's, it's one of the variants of the virus that started in India and uh, it seems to have an advantage in, in uh, replication, which means it divides faster than other viruses. But uh, thank God it's not more dangerous. It's just more, uh, it seems to be more spreading. And there were fears uh, initially. People were afraid that this, uh, this variant of the virus may uh, not be uh, resisted by the vaccine. But most of the research uh, studies that were out last month have shown that actually the, the vaccine gives a long, a long immunity uh, as long as it gets. So uh, we have been now uh, almost one year since the first vaccination effort, and uh, and uh, the vaccine is still effective. What what we know now is that some people can get reinfected. They can get a mild cold, uh, but the vaccine prevents the severe disease. It prevents the hospitalization and prevents death uh, very efficiently. Alhamdulillah, thank God. So this is a fact now that the vaccine uh, lessens the probability of getting hospitalized. This is the fact yeah, by now. Very, by a very large proportion. So uh, in some countries, people who go to the hospital for any reason, they just go to the hospital, you know, to check them, even if they have the, some cold. But uh, in, in most of the world, uh, if you check the hospital, cases in the hospital, Almost, I would say, more than 95% of people in the hospital have not been vaccinated at all. Yes. And some people uh, were just very unlucky to get infected between the two doses. But, but everybody who has been fully vaccinated with any type of vaccine, uh, they, do, they do not get hospitalized. We know, we know for sure that some people get reinfected, but I want to, I want to confirm for uh, yeah, one more time maybe... Uh, after a year, I have been on the program last year, and I always want to differentiate between infection and disease. Infection means you, you, somebody gets the virus, but when, when people are vaccinated, the virus stays in, the, we call it the upper respiratory tract, in the nose and throat. It stays up, up there, you know. So it, it can give us symptoms very similar to the common cold, some sneezing, some coughing, very mild. Uh, and it, it resolves usually in five to seven days. Uh, no hospitalization. Uh, the good news is that vaccines are working. The danger is that if we don't get enough vaccinated, uh, that there will be another variant. We, we heard about the new variant. Uh, there is also a lambda variant. So the virus will, will keep having variants hmm. uh, un until uh, it stops spreading, you know, and until everybody stops spreading it to, to somebody else. So we, want, we are in a race with the, with the virus. We want to have... Uh, Yes. Almost all the world vaccinated. So now in the U.S., uh, also the, the news in the U U.S. is that uh, they already vaccinated the 12 year to 16, 12 to 16 year old, and now they are uh, going to get approval for younger age coming. I mean, the, 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 probably the children also, because the children get very mild disease, but they can spread it to their parents and teachers. Yes. So uh, eventually, it will be a vaccine for children as well, hmm. and. Uh, uh, I think we, we, it will not be as uh, frequent as the flu vaccine. So. Yes, sir. So now, uh, now we know that many people already have caught uh, the virus in Egypt uh, in recent months, and now they are getting vaccinated. Uh, do, uh, do you expect that they will have a better immunity, especially that they had the disease itself and they took the vaccine? Do they have a better chance? 
So the yeah research so so yeah, we 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 hope that nobody gets infected at all. But the research has shown also that if some if somebody is infected and they get at even one dose of the vaccine, uh, the immunity is is very good. So when when people get sick, they they get immunity. But but the vaccine, when you get one dose of the vaccine, even after after infection, it it gives a boost. It it it. it pushes up the immune system to produce more antibody and uh, more memory. Uh, the, the most important part of the immunity is not antibodies, but memory. So everybody, uh, when, you, when we get vaccinated, we develop these proteins called antibodies. Yes. They, they are in our blood and they resist the infection. Yes, because but, some people, uh, yes. But the reason we need another boost of vaccine, or if somebody gets mm. sick and they get vaccinated, the advantage here is that they develop long-term memory. They have cells that can remember the virus, literally. So when, when there is any reinfection, the, the antibodies are much higher and much faster yes. produced. And that, that's why we don't see any, uh, any death or hospitalization in, in vaccinated people. And I'm asking you this question to encourage people who already got infected to uh, go and take the vaccine because it's still very important for them to get vaccinated. Yes, we, uh, as I told you, we know that people have been, uh, some, some people who uh, were infected in 2020 got reinfected in 2021. Uh, so it's really important to get the vaccine because the vaccine is designed to, to, to stimulate our cells that uh, we call it memory cells. So the best immunity has been seen when uh, a vaccinated when a person who recovered from the disease they get vaccinated after two or three months. Hmm. This gives the best results and for the longest time. But of course, as I told you, we, we don't wish anybody to be infected. That's why we give uh, two doses of vaccine. And it, it's possible uh, that there may be a third dose that will be designed for. Uh, to be more adapted to the variants, but so far, as I told you, the, every every vaccine works against most variants. Uh, we, we didn't see any variant yes. yet, thank God, that, that is mm. resistant, uh, completely resistant to vaccines. Yes, uh, we hope that uh, someday it uh, will disappear from the whole world. Uh, I'd like to thank you, Dr. Romy Aziz, a professor and chairman of uh, Microbiology Immunology Research Department, Cairo University. Thank you for being with us. And uh, by that, dear viewers, we come to the end of today's edition of The Breakfast Show. Thank you for watching.